city life has gotten tough. Corona, lockdowns, stuck at home or stuck in traffic. Sometimes you just need to get away from it all and there's nothing quite like a luxurious escape into the unknown. Luckily, Mercedes-Benz offered us the GLA 220D formatic for a 10-day adventure in the mountains. And without wasting time, bags were packed and we were off to Delhi to pick up our ride. The first order of business was the 550km dash into Himachal Pradesh and the day was spent getting to know the car better. The 2-litre turbo diesel under the hood is mated to an 8-speed dual-clutch transmission that always keeps the motor in its sweet spot to perfectly exploit the 190 horsepower and 400 newton meters on tap. And, as a result, we made quick progress arriving at a hotel just outside Manali as darkness fell. The next day, with time on hand to explore, we drove into Manali with a plan to discover one of the lesser-known sites in the region, the Jana Falls. Although well-serviced at first, the road devolved into a rocky trail as we got higher and we were soon crawling along carefully with a sheer drop inches from our wheels. This was the car's first taste of the mountainous terrain and, although set up more for road use, the GLA took it all in its stride. Switched into off-road mode, the 4MATIC four-wheel drive system sends more torque than usual to the rear wheels and this allowed us to make steady progress with minimal fuss even over this trying terrain. But the real adventure would begin the next day as we ventured into the merciless territory that is Ladakh. The next morning we got an early start and headed north from Manali for our first trip through the new Atal Tunnel. As we progressed, the vegetation around us kept thinning. Manali and the surrounding areas were lush with green deciduous trees and pine forests, but now all we could see were sparse grasslands and rocky peaks. We were soon in an arid, desert-like environment and started the challenging climb up to Baralachala, which, at close to 5,000 meters above sea level, was the first of four high-altitude passes that we would cross on the drive to Lake. The roads were completely broken in places, with the melting snow from the surrounding peaks forming chilled streams that flowed across our path. But inside the cabin of the Mercedes-Benz GLA, we were warm and toasty. The navigation display keeping us on the right track and the excellent sound system keeping us entertained. As the day progressed, we passed the open plains of Sarchu, after which we crossed into Ladakh, splashed through a few more water crossings and proceeded to scale Nakila at over 4,700 meters up, Lachungla at just over 5,000 meters up and finally Tanglangla at over 5,300 meters above sea level before descending into Leh at a comfortable 3,500 meter altitude. We decided that the next day we would head to Turtuk, a village located extremely close to the India-Pakistan border and line of control. Turtuk and the surrounding regions were annexed by Pakistan in 1947 and reclaimed by India during the 1971 war making it an important part of our political and geographical history. The first obstacle on our 220km drive from Leh to Turtuk was the daunting climb to Khardungla. Situated at almost 5,400 meters above sea level, Khardungla was, until recently, the highest motorable road in the world, and the climb from Leh was fraught with broken roads due to the regular landslides that make the journey that much more perilous. After stopping at the top for a few photographs in the howling wind, we dived back into the warm confines of the GLA and continued into the Nubra Valley. On the way, we stopped off for lunch at Deskit and also visited the nearby Deskit Monastery where we admired the massive statue of Lord Buddha towering over the valley. We continued north along the Nubra River for what seemed like hours till finally we caught sight of a lush green oasis in the midst of the endless arid desert. This was Turtuk. The town is nestled into the mountainside above the road and is home to some 400 families that live a peaceful existence on the border between two warring neighbours. 
the mountains visible in the distance are in Pakistan controlled territory but here in Turtuk it is peaceful a luxurious escape from the real world with the Mercedes Benz GLA 220D brought us all the way to the end of the road within striking distance of our national border the GLA kept us safe warm and comfortable through some of the most treacherous roads in the world proving that Merck's entry-level SUV has what it takes to conquer the mighty Himalayas. <laughs>